guys, and welcome to Property Market in 2012. My name is Sam Saggers, the Director of Positive Real Estate. I'd love to welcome you to a bit of an update on what happened last year, as well as a bit of an understanding of perhaps where we can invest into the future. Of course, sometimes understanding the history of some marketplaces lets us know where we should invest for the future. And of course, prior to the GFC, some of the best marketplaces from a global perspective were actually here in Australia, homegrown, and what performed well as a macro market was Melbourne, for example. 2008 to 2010, some of that market virtually doubled. We also saw Sydney do very well from a macro point of view. I believe Sydney will continue to do well, but as a result of both Sydney and Melbourne producing high growth value in their particular marketplace, I think in 2012 we're going to see some great new markets emerge. Of course, Brisbane and Perth, which are typically um, uh, the economics of those markets are based around mining, are believed to do very well. And we're seeing a bit of a renaissance of the mining markets. Of course, from a global commodities scenario, Australia is the world's quarry. And of course, China's growth and India's emergence as an economic powerhouse around the world is seeing them need and have a higher demand for our natural resources. And Brisbane and Perth are essentially the offices to the huge mining markets such as Rio Tinto, BHP, and some lesser known mining markets, which are uh, mining companies which are very blue chip. So moving forward, we're going to look at um, where we should invest as um, uh, from market to market. And I'm going to start with Brisbane. For me, the Brisbane market is essentially at the bottom of its cycle. It's really poised from a capital growth point of view. I believe it's the safest market to invest in right now, particularly within a five kilometer radius. Sometimes investing in real estate is about strategic location. And Brisbane allows us as investors to buy in that inner sanctum or very close to the CBD in a very strategic location. In fact, only one, two or three kilometers from the center of town you can buy a property around the $300,000 mark. I believe that's good value. In fact, Brisbane is some 38% cheaper than Sydney at the moment and some 11% cheaper than Melbourne. It is also a lot cheaper than um, uh, less impressive marketplaces where there's less population such as Darwin. So right now, from a value perspective, Brisbane is set to grow. Of course, it's at the bottom of the market. There's going to be a little bit of fluctuation when a property market is at the bottom, but I believe from a big picture point of view, the next three years is looking pretty safe in Brisbane. Sydney is performing very nicely in the Western marketplaces. It's going to grow, it's going to do very well because of interest rates. And the Macquarie Bank have a saying, when interest rates and rents are at parity, the masses buy real estate. And right now, we're seeing a reduction of interest rates and the increased amount in rental returns. And so right now, you could, for example, use a fixed loan product in Sydney and actually get an interest rate at around 5.95%. Yet your rental return is around 6.5% if you buy well. And so when that occurs, there's an old saying that hits the marketplace. It is cheaper to buy than rent. And as the variable interest rates come down, I would see the masses in um, the marketplaces jump back into real estate. And the massive masses of population are in Western Sydney. In fact, there's around 4 million people that live in Western Sydney. And when they, it's cheaper for them to own than rent, they'll jump in. Those sales volumes will drive capital growth and we're going to see a buoyant and strong Western Sydney property market. Perth is doing very well. It is coming out of uh, essentially a flat marketplace. It will recover. I don't believe 2012 is the year for recovery for Perth. I actually believe 2013 and beyond that, even into 2014, are where we're going to see a lot of activity in the Perth market. Right now, it is still yet to hit the bottom. It's fluctuating around the, um, that level, 
But moving beyond that, we're going to see a great opportunity to buy and um, uh, diverse, diversify our portfolio into 2013 and 2014. Adelaide's plods along, it keeps doing. Uh, it's certainly not going to make huge waves into 2012, but it is a nice, safe bet if you're looking for a house and you can get entry-level houses sub $300,000. It will make waves into the future. It always is a very stable market. It doesn't have the massive peaks and troughs that other markets tend to have. And I believe if you're looking for a diversified property, Adelaide's still a great opportunity to buy. Of course, some of the regional markets are faring very well. And in particular, we've been focusing on the Gladstone property market. And if you can get into that market, sub sort of $450,000, you're doing very well. And some other mining markets, or new boom towns as I like to call them, for example, Orange. You can get into that market, sub 300,000 and do very strong. Get yourself a high rental return and high capital growth. That anomaly doesn't align itself all that often, and so you've got a great opportunity to mix both capital growth and cash flow into the future. But moving forward into next year, I'd love you guys to register for one of our property information nights because there's going to be some hot topics which we're going to talk about. The markets of 2012, the best places to invest. It's real simple and I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this. Just register your particulars and we'll get one of our friendly staff to give you um, a call and make sure you know where to come to one of our property information nights. They're held all around the country. We look forward to catching up with you soon.